and my past jobs, I spent 30 years as a collision technician, or what we call a body man. I had the typical six foot toolbox, five feet wide, three feet deep, full of tools. Tools that helped me with my trade. And because you have to be organized, you have to have each drawer with those tools in them. So that when you're doing something, you can blindly open the drawer, pick out the tool, and go to work. Now today, I'm in the insurance sales business, and I don't use hard tools. I use soft tools or software along with my computer. But that hasn't changed anything as far as being organized. Madam Toastmaster, last month, I purchased a program that would help scan all of my receipts and put them in a category so that if my client called and needed that receipt, I could call it up, print it, and send it to them. Sounds like a good idea because it keeps me more organized without having to take all these receipts, put them in a file, and put the file away. The file is now my screen. Not a bad idea. So, on March 22nd, I bought the program. Two weeks later, it took a dump. <laughs> <laughs> I was not a happy camper, to say the least. And here's how I was, putting all this information in, and it quit. So this was about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and I decided, well, when I bought this program, I was given one year, a whole year, of free technical support. All right. Dial them up. person on the other end says, we are closed. <laughs> so I looked into the, into the folder, into the information that I was given, found out these people are in New York. And they're only open from 7 in the morning until 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. Ah, uh, okay. I can understand that. Next day, I dial them up. I am on hold for three hours. Three hours. And during that period of time, <coughs> Obviously, I'm not holding the phone to my ear. I have clients coming in. I turn down the voice on the phone. However, one of my clients made a comment about the woman who was saying, Thank you for calling. We will be with you in a few minutes. Well, I didn't tell my client that I'd been on hold at that time for over two hours. Well, obviously, I finally got very, very disgusted. And I hung up. So I decided I have to get this program going because I'm in the middle of it. I've got half my information put into it, and nothing has happened. So I dialed them up the next day. Next day, I dialed them up. I got on hold for two hours, but then Val came on. <laughs> and I explained to Val that I was just a little upset <laughs> about the fact that I had been waiting five hours to talk to him. Well, Val gets on and he says, what's the, what's the situation? I explain it to him, what the situation was, and all of a sudden he starts giving me all this computer jargon that, and words that have nothing, no comprehension to me whatsoever. <laughs> Val, no, Val, hold on. <laughs> favor. I don't understand all this technical knowledge. Would you please talk to me as though I were a child? Okay. <laughs> Sonny? I was so mad I'd slam that phone down. I took your the Lord's mind. name in vain. I was, so <laughs> I was yelling and screaming, and 
I, and, and, and at that same time, a client comes in and obviously heard me from the outside. He said, what's going on? And I explained to him briefly what was going on. He said, well, what you need to do, because of all the time waiting on the phone, is go to the chat room. How many of you have been in a chat room? <laughs> and he said they usually come on board much faster than the phone. I said, okay, I'll go do that. So I got on their chat room and uh, uh, I had to wait from, and this was on 420, from 12. 15 in the afternoon until 1 when I got Audi. <laughs> Audi got on, and here is the chat that we had from there. <laughs> Guess what? We never got it solved. Oh my gosh. But I got a case number. <laughs> my case number is 2446, uh, 248. So I did it the next day, and I was only waiting for an hour. In fact, it went from uh, 1034 in the morning until uh, half an hour, four, uh, until 1102, and I got Andy. <laughs> Same thing. Here's Andy's. Right here. <laughs> doesn't work. In fact, Andy got so upset in, in our chat that he said, I'll tell you, he said, I, I can't read it. Take too long. I will send you an email how to fix it. So he sent me an email. It still doesn't work. So, in the world of computers and software, since you want a problem resolved, Allow yourself at least one hour before you talk to somebody. And if you speak with them, be patient. Be very patient. And be very specific about your problem. And maybe, just maybe, your problem will be resolved. I'm doing it. <laughs> I my little nerve. I can see us all. <laughs>